Imagine, if you will, a seven-year-old boy sitting nose to screen in front of a seven-inch Dumont television set. He begins to fantasize that if he tried hard, he could shrink to a tiny size and crawl inside the set. Then he could live and breathe television from the inside all day. That boy got his wish. Since 2004, the Brandon Tartikoff Legacy Award has recognized the most innovative leaders and artistic visionaries in television. They are men and women who have shaped the business, inspired their colleagues, and left an indelible mark on our culture. It's a singular honor. It's, uh, it's really unlike anything else. The prestige of the Brandon Tartikoff Legacy Award comes from the inspirational life of its namesake and from the caliber of its distinguished honorees. He, of course, had an imagination. He had a passion. He was a great leader. Collectively, their creative vision continues to define what is popular and what is possible in a business that changes every day. He contributed so much to so many audiences out there. Brandon was the epitome of class and competition, and everyone who's come since him has wanted to emulate Brandon Tartikoff. There, there's never been anyone in the business like him. Tonight's Legacy Award recipients embody Brandon's spirit and are tremendous examples of his passion, vision, and leadership. He truly was a man that loved television. I never forget the one thing he said, which was 90% of the sale in the room to him was the passion. This year's honorees truly have made a lasting contribution to the legacy of our craft. The goal is to be able to say, 10 years time, I helped bring those shows to life. And, you know, they made people's life a little bit better because when they come home at night after hard days work, they tuned in and they laughed or they cried and they escaped for a little bit. That's what we do. We create fantasy and we create escapism. You have to take some risks. Um, I mean, what was it that made Brandon great? Well, he went to a network that was failing and he fixed it. And don't look for the easy mark, look for the tough one. Well, anything you ever get easy, you don't really appreciate, but when you get it, when you really applied yourself and it's been difficult, you have a greater appreciation for it. I wanted to say, loud enough for the whole world to hear, Dennis, I thank you. I'm very proud to be in the company of the people who have won this award and I'm very proud to be in the television business right now. I think that we have been afforded a luxury to really tell deep stories with earned endings. I look around at what people are doing and the way it's being done, and uh, I'm very proud to be part of this whole thing at this moment in time. It is a special time. Desde que llegué a, a televisión eh, y la conocí, he eh, dicho que me quiero quedar y quiero que me, me entierren con ella. Y lo que más me encanta este premio es que me lo dan estando en Colombia, habiendo producido todo lo que he producido desde el país, con todas las dificultades que hemos tenido en Colombia para generar contenidos. Natby takes great pride in recognizing this year's honorees and adding their names to an exclusive list, representing some of the finest talents in the history of television. Tonight, we celebrate Brandon's legacy. NACBE, in association with Broadcasting and Cable, Multi Channel News, NBC Universal, and Royal Bank of Canada, proudly congratulates the 2012 Brandon Tartikoff Legacy Award recipients.